Hello, uh, I thought I'd do a quick final video, hopefully final video anyway, in terms of uh, this particular set of treatments that I've had, um, just to sort of cap up what went on and what happens next really. So um, the treatment went fine yesterday, It uh, they did, <laughs> they knew I was in a, a rush basically to get through it so that I could get home. Um, so the steroids started at about half one. They normally go through over an hour um, but they put them through over half an hour uh, to mean that I could start the um, alum 2 well quicker and therefore get home uh, on time, basically. But um, what uh, what happened was they <laughs> the steroids rushed through and then the um, alum 2 well when it arrived, did not have the brown bag around it, which I showed you in one of the other videos, and it turns out that the drug itself is sensitive to light, so it has to be put in that brown bag during the treatment, and they hadn't sent the brown bag, so the drugs arrived and re ready for me to start them about two, but the uh, brown bag did not, so they had to wait for the brown bag, so that didn't arrive, and we didn't get the drug started till three. So that didn't finish till seven, which in most, you know, sort of it was change over time then. So then I, and they, then they wanted to monitor me, monitor my observations for a, a couple of hours afterwards. So about nine o'clock, um, they came in and did the final obs and were like, yeah, it's looking good. We'll get you, you, you take home a lot of drugs afterwards, um, various bits that you've got to take for like a month after the end of the treatment. A cyclovir, you have to do twice a day. Cotroximol, I think it might be called. You take once every three days um, and et cetera, et cetera. So, they needed to get those sorted and they needed the doctor to basically say I was okay to go home. Um, and it got to, and the, 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 the doctor, again, you know, uh, again, I could make a political point about the underfunding of the NHS, but the Walton Centre, which is quite a big like hospital in its own right, has one on-call doctor for the entire centre over the night. So I had to wait for the on-call doctor to basically give you the go-ahead to go home. And it got to about quarter past ten um, and uh, they had not uh, come to me. And I was like, do I have to stay to see what the, the on-call doctor has to say? And they were like, no, you've got your medication. Um, you know, your fine lobs are okay. You can go if you want. So I said, okay, I'll go. And then on the way out, the on-call doctor was sat at the reception catching up on paperwork and things. And I just said, is there anything particular you need to tell me? And they basically said, how are your fine lobs? Fine, how do you feel? Fine, no, you can go home. So. Why I was sat around for an hour and a half waiting for that, I don't really know, but that's the way these things work, isn't it? Um, so, yeah, got home last night about, I think, about quarter to 11 in the end. Um, absolutely exhausted, slept like a log last night. It's a funny thing, this treatment, because I feel fine in myself. I feel like I did before I went into hospital, basically. Um, I don't really feel, you know, I feel a little bit, I mean, I'm very tired, as you might imagine, and I feel a little bit wobbly um, on my feet and stuff. But that, I think that's just the exhaustion of, you know, I got about three hours sleep the night before last. So I think it's all that kind of thing catching up with me. Um, you can see where they took the, um, that's where they took the um, thing, at cannula out of me there, those little bruises. And then on this arm, um, I, it was in the, in the middle of my arm. I don't, don't know if you can quite see it. So that's where they took it out there. Um, but it, it it's chemotherapy. So everything that's going on is going on inside my body. So although I feel totally normal in, in and of myself, it's what happens now over the next month, two months, three months, that's going to be the key thing. So there are things I have to watch out for. My liver function is slightly elevated, apparently, and they said, that's fine, that's nothing to worry about, but if it becomes very elevated, like five times the normal elevation rate, um, then that's when it'd be really concerning. So I have to keep an eye on that. Um, and also my white blood cells, my lymphocytes, are gonna be really decimated. So they need to be back within a normal range before I can kind of resume any sort of normal activities of life. So we have to isolate pretty strictly, really, for a month. Um, especially with COVID case go, cases, cases going back up. I think they're really concerned because that would be, if I got COVID now, that would be really bad for me. So um, the, we have to keep an eye on on um, that, doing things with other people. So really only allowed to see people outdoors um, and people are going to have to LFT. And if they feel at all ill or anything like that, then I can't see them. So that's all um, part of it. So it's, it's just really weird. I feel fine, but I know I've got to be really careful for, for the month and then careful for the couple of months that follow it, like not really mixing indoors with large, large crowds of people I don't know, et cetera, et cetera. So 
um yeah it's uh, so it's a really strange experience just to be kind of fine in myself but the fact that literally anything could happen over the next couple of months um the yeah, the liver function and i think they said the gallbladder is another one so if i have any stomach pains or anything i need to be really careful and i also have to be wary of listeria which is so it's just basically i need to follow what they call the pregnant woman's diet which is suitable considering the size of my belly but um so i need to be careful of things like soft cheeses blue cheeses anything that listeria could exist in like still water um you know that's been sat around for a little while um because that could be really dangerous for me as well so it's it's strange i feel fine i've got to be really careful um but hopefully i don't do another video because if i do another video anytime soon then it probably means something's gone a bit wrong somehow um so keep your fingers crossed but for anybody that sent me a message on social media or in the youtube comments or whatever genuinely thank you so much it, it, i can't tell you how much it means and what what a kind of um what a lovely thing it is to have so many people saying nice stuff um, and being so supportive a lot of whom i've never even met um it, it really helped when when i was feeling a bit low and stuff in the hospital um so yeah just keep your fingers crossed that things keep going as they have been going and smoothly and everything else and and hopefully i don't speak to you for a while cheers